What's up, Wastelanders and Vault Dwellers? It's Upbeat Data coming at you from the Wasteland. That is Texas. Just kidding. It's my life. No. Um, we're going to be loading up in a Sanctuary here, and then I'm going to fast travel to the Slog. I'm just trying to get the game to load right now. For some reason, it is crashing. And so if it will load, we will have a live stream. It looks like it's loading up. Watch the intro there for a second. Following total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we... All right, we are up and working. Hopefully everyone can hear me. Hopefully everyone can hear the game. Sorry about the delay. continue we are in sanctuary like i said i'm gonna fast travel real quickly over to the slog yes that does look much more promising <laughs> thank you dwarf and welcome to the stream i hope you're having a wonderful day so far it has been a nice peaceful uh saturday so i'm all for it i know that you're on sunday probably i think you are County crossing though. Where even is the slog? There it is. I left power armor there? I guess I did. Audio for me and the game are good. Rock on. Alright, so yesterday I finished up the consignment shop. I will probably attempt to write consignment on it, but I think that's going to be way too long. So we will see what happens. Loading screen, loading screen. We will watch a loading screen for five minutes. No, we won't. Okay. And here we are at the slog. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to work on the, um, the wine distillery. I'm going to go silence for a few minutes shortly and make some lunch this fine Saturday, Sunday. That sounds good, Dorf. Make you do that. Friend. Yes. Oh, those are Minutemen. I'm like, who's running around here with guns? Are they getting attacked? But yeah, totally cool. If you gotta go silent, make some food, whatever you need to do. Just hang out. Um, okay, so I put these um, barrels in here and I put these kegs in here because I wanted to make this winery look a little more full. I also put some wine racks up here. So I'm just gonna do some moving around of stuff in here. So that's going to be what we're going to start off with today. Um, first things first, I think I'm okay with these how they are. I think I did want to put this crate on top of this one. So um, we are in the slog, and the reason that they have, um, basically what they do here in the slog is they make tarberry wine and they sell weed. So they are in the wine and weed business, and so that is why we have our distillery here. And so this is where they are making their tarberry wine which every time I say that makes me want to start singing strawberry wine. All right, and then I think we will put, now I don't know if the kegs make sense. Does wine use these kind of kegs? Because if they don't make sense, I'll get rid of them. So we'll, we'll put them outside until somebody lets me know if wine is ever in a keg. <laughs> or is wine always only in barrels? I, I do not know. So I think over here we'll put a table maybe. Um, we're going to delete these bottles of wine. Because I can go ahead and just re-put them in very easily. Probably didn't want to delete that beer crate, but the bottles of wine are easy enough to put in. And I'm going to toggle God Mode, TGM. So that way I have enough resources to work with what I gotta do. All right, um, let's put a table and let's put these on a table. I almost always use this Federalist table because it's got like, I don't know, a very 
whatever look to it. I don't know what the word is. Uh, industrial kind of look to it. I don't know. It fits in with the wood and with the warehouse textures. So let's see how many of these suckers I can fit on a table. If any. And maybe this is where foul mouth wine comes from. So it seems to be two per table. So maybe I'll put a table in the back also with that foul mouth wine on it. I just want it to look full. But I want it to also make sense. So, like I said, this is just me fixing up the distillery in the slog. Now I'm going to go to a mod called Creative Clutter. If you don't have Creative Clutter mod, just go ahead and download it now. You will not regret it. Uh, rooms, bedroom, kitchen. I think that this is where the... Nope, not under food. It's under clutter. I think this is where those barrels are located. Yep, there they are. Foul mouth winery. So we've got plenty of wine available for people to come in and do a tasting or whatever they would like to do. I really wish those weren't stuck together, but they're stuck together. And now I need a shelf to hold up those other guys there, those wine racks. Um, let's find a shelf. Shelf, shelf, shelf. Where is the best place to find a shelf? Under furniture, do it yourself. This is another mod that's like a must have, the do it yourself. So, highly recommend it if anybody does not have this mod. Um, it is awesome. I don't know, I feel like the wine racks just kind of make sense in here. I don't know if having three of them really makes sense, but it's not the end of the world. I don't think it's going to look too bad. What's up? Hello to the six people watching. Welcome. This is the um, winery at the slog. And I'm going to go back and put in the wine um, crates. I think it's under decorations, miscellaneous crates and barrels. Oh, we want wood barrels. Uh, crates. So this is going to be crates that they are presently filling up with wine. And so I'm going to move this. Like right over here, I guess. You know, do I even need those crates? They've got crates of wine right here. They've got another crate of wine here. I don't think that I need another crate of wine, but I might put in just one more, just for the hell of it. We'll put in one almost like stocked crate of wine that's like ready to go out. Um, to the people in the chat, please say hello in the chat. Um, also, please hit the subscribe -y button. What's up, M Hawk? The gun is not here. What's up, Preston Garvey? Welcome. Welcome all. Yes, no, we are we are building now. I have put away the um, horrible uh, Las Vegas job that I do. <laughs> Drinks, where is the wine? Wine. It's just keeps making me want to say strawberry wine. Strawberry wine. I know it's a song, I just don't know who it's by. And we'll make this crate pretty much almost full. Alright, so that crate's just about ready to go. Yeah, I'm back to doing what I do slightly better, which is building. Slightly better than playing New Vegas. I 
actually don't know if that extra bottle makes sense there. That kind of looks like a full container. Eh, no, it doesn't. It looks, looks almost full. No, I will not say hello, and I already subbed. <laughs> Well, thank you for subbing. And that's okay for refusing to say hello. All right, so I think that this is a finished um, distillery. I think I could step outside and we can put a door on this sucker. I will scrap these kegs because I don't think that they will make sense in there. And let's look for a door. Yana Carter sung strawberry wine, okay. Man, Jones, get out of the way. Get out of the way. I don't think any old door will do. I'm not too picky on what warehouse door I use. Damn it, man. I'd love it if the door would snap into place, though. That would be awesome. I did just put snapping on. Didn't I? Howdy, Arcane Alchemist. How's life? How's life treating you? What's going on today? Dude, this door. All right, we're just gonna let that door be difficult. Fine, warehouse door. You be difficult over there. Um, and we've got to go into Twins Consignment Shop because I went and got some clothes to put on these guys. I don't remember what clothes I went and got, but I did get clothes. Apparel. Oh yeah, I got a bathrobe. We'll put a bathrobe on this guy. That's for sale in the consignment store. Somebody's consigning their bathrobe. And then we've got a dress for this chick. Who needs snapping? Rough day today, but I'm home, so it's getting better already. I am so sorry that you had a rough day, um, but I'm glad that you are home and that it's getting better. That is very good news. Um, anybody have a suggestion where I could find some pool balls to put there? I don't know the best location to go look for some balls. Yes, I just said that on a stream. Um, so that is pretty much it for the consignment store. Oh, I do have to move this guy out of the way. This guy that's here is our cashier. We'll put him in the back with the rest of the flamingos. I wish there was a way that you could lean those up against the wall. They would make a lot more sense. Um, and I guess this consignment store needs an actual light. Let's put an actual light in. Maybe three of them. Alright, so it's actually lit up. Um where are where do I find my bobbleheads? Aid miscellaneous. Vault Tech headquarters. Depends on your opinions on theft, I think. Andrew Station. Um, my opinions. I don't mind theft at all. Big Guns Bobblehead. We can put you here. Charisma Bobblehead. This is going to be a long time putting these bobbleheads. I wonder if I should just play Fallout for a little while and collect some more bobbleheads. But I know that y'all come to watch uh, most of the decorating and stuff. Melee bobblehead. Perception bobblehead. Repair bobblehead.
speech bobblehead, strength bobblehead. All right. Oh man, they only take up one row. <laughs> I was hoping they would at least take up a little more. There's a bunch of places to find pool balls. DB Cooper, I'm pretty sure Cabot House has a full pool set too. Um, Cabot House. All right, I think I know where that is. Um, I just came here to drink and make fun of you. <laughs> well, there's nothing to make fun of, so ha ha ha. I'm not playing New Vegas. All right, so I got to remember where I put my bobbleheads. All right, so that store's done. Um, what are we going to put next door? I think I need to throw a cap on the corner here. Yeah, that back corner needs a cap. Snappy builds. So somebody mentioned that with all that wine and all that weed, they think they need a Slocum's Joe. So who's in, uh, who thinks that we need to put a Slocum's Joe in here? And if we do, I probably have to change the, the look of the inside a little bit. Slocum's Joe. I don't mind putting a Slocum's Joe in there. I could try to find some wallpaper. Tell me what screams out Slocum's Joe to y'all. We've got this blue wallpaper. Well, that looks ugly. Oh, this looks like it could be a Slocum's Joe. What do we think about that for a Slocum's Joe? Oh, I like that tile one. Build a blockbusters. <laughs> Kill streak. I am not making a blockbuster, okay? They don't have any VHS tapes. <laughs> yeah, I have the Slocum's Joe stuff. I just um, don't want to change the look of my building. I just want to change the inside. I'm kind of feeling these walls. Now this is supposed to work on snappy walls. Watch, it's not gonna work. Uh, it worked. This I think would look pretty cool as a Slocum Joe's on the inside. We'll try out different wallpaper. We'll see what it looks like. Bright blue, not bad. Wow, that is really bright. We are not doing that. I think I might try to see how those um, tile ones look. See if they look terrible. All right, two-tone walls, tile wall, for a Slocum's Joe. Let me get some Slocum's Joe equipment down and see which it, what it looks good with. I gotta remember that I was in snappy builds. You know, I don't know if I'm gonna find a wallpaper that'll go over this specific wall, actually. Um, let me check for that first.
Yeah, see, I don't think I'm gonna have anything that's gonna work. On this wall. Shoot. So I'm not gonna be able to wallpaper the inside. Dang it! I really wanted to put wallpaper on the inside. Because I don't know how it's going to look as a Slocum's Joe without it. Oops, just left one up there in the, in the roof. Thanks, Dorf. Feel free to chew as loud as you'd like. Um, I'm trying to put wallpaper in here, but running into a snag. Damn it. Yeah, all the wallpaper will cover up that window. I hope you're having something good for lunch. I don't know why, but I just feel like this two-tone will look decent with the... This Slocum's Joe stuff. I could be completely wrong, though. But I think I might have to change out this door. Mm, let me see how it looks with the stuff first. Oh no, I lost my Creation Club content again. Shoot. So I don't think I can put in a Slocum's Joe. I might have to restart the game. Uh, hang on. I've got to go to uh, Settlement Menu Manager. Hang on. Let me see if I could remember how to do this. Data Inventory uh, Apparel Aid Miscellaneous I think there's a hollow tape that I need to get back my creation club. Hollow tape. Um, creation club repair. Okay. back. Woohoo! Oh no, I don't think those seats are going to look too great with those walls. I mean, they don't look terrible, but they don't look great. But they're also not going to look great with the walls that are already there. Fake house is what I am doing. That wouldn't be too ugly. I don't think the wood would go. 
This might match. No, it's a little too weird. Just make this lookums Joe Tile. Does that look too like sterile? Nah, see, I think that's gonna look weird too. I don't think any of these wallpapers are gonna look any good. Y'all think that looks weird? There should be some doorway wallpapers and snappies that just put a strip around the door without encroaching on the nearby window. Well, first I gotta find some wallpapers that I think even look decent with it. That doesn't look too bad with the red one. Looks like a restroom wall to me. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a restroom wall. And I don't think the counter looks too bad up against the red one. I think I might stick with that red and black wall. Yeah, these walls aren't high enough for me to use with uh, snappy builds. So that's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna stick with these red ones for now. And so it's gonna go. We'll see what it looks like towards the end. It's either gonna look like crap or it's gonna look okay. Whoopsie. Where did I just put that? I'm just gonna borrow you and put you back where you go. Oh, by the way, we're celebrating. I hit 400 subs, I'm very excited. Celebration time. So this is a celebration stream, even though I don't sound very celebrate I know. <laughs> I'm still a little tired today. It looks a little weird right there, but that's okay. Uh, I wonder what it'll be if I flip them around. there. Put you in the corner. Go in the corner. No, I said the corner. Go in the corner. Thank you. You go here. Uh, which one looks weirder? Uh, I can't really tell. Um, let's put a back room for the Slocum's Joe people. So actually, we're just gonna take that off anyway, because I might put a door there. Because we need a place where they cook the donuts, and they cook the donuts back here. Ah, eh, we'll leave it there. They'll just cook the donuts behind the counter. Celebrate good times, come on. I think I need to get rid of that because I think I'm going to put it. Um, congratulations on reaching four episodes. Man, your channel is growing faster than quite a few I've seen. Thank you, Dwarf. Um, I'm very excited about that. 
I hope people enjoy watching me be boring. I think I think I'm just incredibly boring, but <laughs> um, if people enjoy it, then awesome. We're always our own worst critics, right? one of these pastry cases that lights up. I think I want the one that lights up. Yeah, that's the one that lights up. Now it's saying it requires power, but the building right next to this has power, so it should have power. Yes, I am attempting to move this ever so slightly. Oh, it's not moving. That's weird. Oh, I wasn't selected on it. <laughs> I was trying to turn it and I wasn't even on it. Yeah, that is so not flush. One of the things I hate doing is trying to line stuff up with the line on the floor. Never any good at it. But yeah, that's a little bit better. Alright, we got some donuts. So for our people that are, uh, judging by the fact you've hit 400, I think it's safe to say that people enjoy what you're doing the way you're doing it. Well, thank you. I hope someone out there enjoys. Um... We will stick with some chairs. What do we think of these chairs? I'm thinking I like them. Let's see what we could do with this doorway. So you think Snappy has some strips that I can use? I really didn't see anything. Like, I can use this, but this is going to cover part of that wall. I think I'd have to use a totally different wall. I might just have to deal with it. Just deal with the fact that that's what that wall looks like. Because see, even if I do this doorway one, it's going to stick out the side. So I can't use that doorway. Because see, if I come over here... If I come over here, you'll see it sticking out the side. I really don't think there's too much I could do about that wall. Um, let me see what my other wall options are. Uh, I tried the half doorways. Doorways half? It doesn't fit. Look, see? And then if I move it over, it's in the way. So it doesn't just won't work. That's the half doorways. So it's still not covering that sliver here in the corner. Let me see. I will I will give it the old college try. Yeah, because this is the smallest little sliver that I have, and it's going to cover that door, so I can't use it to cover the corner. So unfortunately, I think I just have to deal with that being the way it is. Donuts and a donut fryer. He will be making his donuts back here. Slocum's donuts. You should title the stream How I Ended Communism Using a What? N7. <laughs> Welcome, Josiah. How I Ended Communism Using. Unfortunately, there's a little heart covering up what you said. So I can't read it, but I'll be able to read it once somebody comments.
Have I ended communism? I didn't. I mean, that wasn't a goal, but it's great if I did. At least in the nations that currently have it. Donut fryer makes settlement happiness. All right, we got to turn the light on in this room. We need lights. Lights, camera, action. All right. Where was I? Um, donut fryer. Let's put some signs back there. I need lights. I always need lights. Let's see. Where is the thing that's powering this? Oh, because it's way over here. That's why. We will have you come over here. wrong place. Show the stream how I ended up using a fish in $7.21. Wrong place. Hold on. I don't get it. I don't get it. If I'm supposed to get it, let me know. But I will title my next stream that just because it's funny. <laughs> Welcome, Josiah Games. Oh, by the way, if anybody that is watching right now has any ideas on how to build either A, a weed packing plant, or B, a weed dispensary in Fallout, um, let me know what your thoughts are to build said objects. Um, because I need to build that here. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I will try to stop singing. <laughs> Once this song gets stuck in my head, it is like there. How about we put on the rest of this roof? How about we get with it today, Upbeat? Oh my god, please do. I have no clue for either. Well, I will try to figure out some way to make a weed dispensary. That's what we're going to build next. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a snappy house kit. And I'm looking for floors. So I can use them as a roof. The roof. The roof. I need them as the roof. Dude, that wall looks so ugly. What can I do about that wall? The ugliness of that wall will haunt me for the rest of my days. I think that's from Mr. Deeds. The hideousness of that foot will haunt me for the rest of my days. It's like super dark in here now. Roofs. Nope, not prefab. Modular. Roof. Corner piece. I love when it actually snaps. Twins. Uppers. Slocums. Locums Joe's. I tell you, I wasn't expecting to put a Slocums Joe here, but when someone made the suggestion, it actually did make sense. 
What is happening here? Why is that not lining up? I don't know what's happening there. But you know what? I really don't care. That wall is certainly doing a wall. What does that mean? Make your words make sense. What is happening? What is even going on with these walls? Okay, you go here. And now you go over here. You snap to that piece. Thank you. And now you snap to that piece. And now you snap to that. All right. I think we're all together now. Oh, and don't forget to use damn hippies the railroad. I like confusing people. Really, you have death claws, behemoths, and retarded Hulk super mutants along with raiders and G.I. Joe cats running around, and you want to get higher pack a bowl? No, I'm doing this for the slog. I have no interest. I don't smoke at all whatsoever. The slog smokes. That is their thing. Because I needed a way that they're affording this mansion and all the nice stuff I'm going to put in it. And I decided that that was through um, weed and wine. It's still kind of dark in here. That's a lot of lights for it to still be dark. Maybe I need six lights? What do y'all think? I'm gonna put up some signs. Nah, I don't know if that's gonna make sense. We could put it there for now. Oh, put a little coffee cart somewhere. Happy little coffee cart. I don't necessarily know that that's the best place for it, but I guess I could put like a trash can next to it and make it a whole thing. Put a box of donuts on the counter. What do you think, one sign or both signs? Will both signs fit? No, both signs don't really fit. We'll just go with one sign. I'll put a different sign over to the side. This is the one that says donuts for only $42. Like, <laughs> you gotta love inflation. I picked up Junkie's Fat Man yesterday during some exploring of the Commonwealth. Such a good idea to make a tactical nuclear device depending on drug withdrawals. Thanks, Bethesda. <laughs> this log needs a plastic surgeon. <laughs> it's not about the money, it's about the message. I do not think that I'm sending a negative message. Do we want a Slocum's Joe sign outside? I just feel like it's so, like, corporate. Plus, how the hell am I going to wire it? Well, they have a little Slocum's Joe. Always room for donuts. All right, let's see if I'm gonna change out this wall. You go over here. You go over here. Let's see what my other wall options are. You go over there. 
Uh, how fun. See, I could put a standard boring wall, and then I should be able to use the other. Dude, go on the wall. Nope. On the wall. I don't know where this was like snapping to before. It was like snapping to something. I guess that's not the end of the world. I don't know about this red wallpaper though now. Now I don't know if I like it. Hey woman, go through your mods. Exactly my point, M Hawk. Nobody wants to see that. You got some I have not seen. I think the word you're looking for is please. Oh, dang it. Where did I just put that? All right, now hopefully I have a half window. Tell me there's a half window. Dude, if there's not a half window, I'm gonna be so pissed. Hawk, I will go through the mods in just a minute. Um, doorways, doorways half. Doorways large. They really don't have a window. First of all, where even is the thing? Thank you. All that work, all that change, and they don't have a window. <sighs> They'd all cover up the window. You know, corporate is the future. Nobody wants to see what I missed something, Dorf. Um, ah, that's where I put it. I was like, I know that I put one somewhere. So, should I get rid of the window? I really wanted a window there. Uh. Oh, maybe there's a way I can make it work. Hang on. That doesn't look too terrible. What do y'all think? I think it works. Maybe I should make it a different color. Should I make it green? White? No, I think brown is the closest to matching. And just leave the window part. Cover it with posters. <laughs> the posters is a good idea. Um, so mods, we have um, Neon Knights, Kuro Tab, Neon Knights, Snappy, not your average neon, unicorn farts and god rays, wasteland resources, and cozy scaver. Do you need me to go back in the other direction? And then obviously creation club. Cozy scaver, wasteland resources, unicorn farts has all the stained glass stuff. So if you want anything stained glass looking. Uh, 
What's up, Richard Pills? How was your day? It was fabulous. I spent most of the day playing New Vegas, and that's about it. Those are certainly all mods. Yes, Josiah, they are. I, I was requested to um, to tell M Hawk what the mods were. Um, all right, what else are we doing? We need a garbage pail up in this beast. Miscellaneous uh, decorations. Miscellaneous trash can. This garbage pail does not match worth a shit. But we need some place for people to throw out their coffee straws. Alright, it's a Slocum's Joe. I think it works. Y'all think it works? I think these chairs aren't exactly even. This one's going into the wall quite a bit. Yeah, it's still going into the wall quite a bit. <laughs> you try to fix something. I would not call what you did in New Vegas as playing, but I digress. M Hawk, if you don't like it, then don't watch it. How about that? How about them apples? I'm just kidding. Watch it anyway. I need viewers. <laughs> And what I did was absolutely playing. I played the New Vegas. I think these need, um, I need to go into creative clutter, which is in decorations, right? Yes, no, nope, it's right here. Creative clutter, kitchen. Because these people need creamer for their table. Creamer or sugar? That's probably sugar in there. And then they need... Some people need to be eating. And then they need their little napkins. Now I think it's almost done. You spent 90 minutes looking for a gun and then a basement. <laughs> then I would have nothing to make fun of. I might play some more New Vegas. I don't know. I gotta see what time it ends up being. I gotta see how long I want to do this. This wall looks a little boring. What would y'all put on that wall? Maybe that other sign that I didn't put up? Or do I just leave it alone? Um, I need to do a pass-through conduit somehow, um, to light up that, uh, Slocum's Joe sign. I could put a conduit there, then it's gonna have to run a wire through, and that's gonna look kinda ugly. Um, let's see. Well, is it already through the wall, actually? That's the first question. No, it's not already through the wall. Um, do, do, do. We will come back to that. Where's Old Vegas? <laughs> oh, old Vegas is uh, right around the corner from New Vegas. Alright. We got a Slocum's. It's good enough for me. The sign's not lit up yet. Which is really going to bother me, to be honest. But it's there. We can get rid of this. Alright, let's go inside and do some decorating. Um, or no, let me light up that freaking sign. God damn it. 
Why'd I have to be so freaking OCD? it's green right when you touch it so that means that it's not gonna go through that wall but I can attempt to do a pass-through wall conduit um, let me go to power conduit pass-through will it snap to that do I have snapping on or off let's turn snapping on No, I don't think that's going to work at all, but we will try. Shit, forgot I moved the <laughs> floor. <laughs> Need the floor to go back there, please. Ah, shit again. <laughs> floor, you go back. Go back where you were. Be a good floor. Close enough. Shit! <laughs> I'm down doing some decorating myself. I found a chair outside of an office for free, so I took it home and cleaned it up. Awesome. You could always run the power around the outside of the building. Yes, I could, but where would the fun in that be? Why do I keep falling? doesn't love the sound and the smoke of a generator with their coffee. God damn it. Yeah, we gotta get that generator out of there. That's gonna annoy me. doesn't work. Go down here. Go down. Dude doesn't want to listen worth a shit. All this to get a stupid sign lit up. How dumb can this game be sometimes? Again. Why isn't it working? Is 
Thank y'all for your patience during that brief interlude while I fought with that. Use the wire glitch. Blame John. The reason you keep falling is called gravity. Welcome to Earth, third rock from the sun. M. Hawk, you're gonna get a timeout soon. You're gonna get put in the corner and spanked. <laughs> All right, Slocum's Joe is lit up. Let's do some decorating. We've got a Joe, we've got Twins Consignment, Uppers, and Slog's Liquor. And then we have our little warehouse. Let's see if this will snap into place now. Damn door still won't snap. Is that the wrong warehouse door? Like, what am I doing wrong that that door won't snap? All right, let's go decorate some bedrooms. What's going on? What's going on, Court? How are you? How's life? Court, I watched your uh, Skyrim. Can you beat Skyrim with animals? That was freaking awesome. That was so awesome, dude. Loved it. Awesome, dude. Like, totally. Yes, everybody welcome. We're going to... What do we want to decorate first? Whoever's bedroom this is? Or do we want to decorate a study? Actually, that really needs to be a bedroom because I'm probably going to actually have some more people in here. Let me go outside and get the little shrink thing. Which I actually don't need anymore now that I can use the keypad. Let's try the keypad because I want to shrink this guy right here. Yay, it's a keypad shrinking. So I think this bathroom's pretty much done. Uh, maybe I could hang a towel or two on the wall. Liked it very much so. Yes, that was very entertaining. I like how you got to Alduin and you couldn't get any further. You're like, nope. Um, what was I looking for? Bathrooms. Bathrooms. Clutter. Nope. Yes. Nope. I don't want a synth towel rack. No, I just want a regular towel rack. Uh, probably in just regular bathroom stuff. Regular old towel rack. One of these nasty looking things will do. Alright, what do we think, y'all? Is this bathroom finished? It's got a rug, a toilet, some towels, some little stuff here in the corner. I think it's done. Alright, we're gonna go with done. We're gonna throw a door on it. Door means it's done. Sorry for the screaming child outside my apartment, if y'all can hear that. Um, what kind of doors do we want to use? Wood door... Oh, we can use these regular wood doors. Wow, that kid is like wailing. And I want to make this picture bigger. Select it. I love that. I just have to press a button now. That's so awesome. A bathroom needs that one thing though. Oh lord, I don't want to know what you're thinking of. I'm a little afraid. Um, living room, study, or bedroom. What do y'all want to decorate? Let's give them a bedroom. They need a bedroom down here. Uh, decorations, floor coverings. What floor, what rug am I in the mood for today? Kind of in the mood for this rug. I guess this is going to be a more one of the more girly bedrooms. I don't know. Let's pick somebody. Maybe this will be Pink Shirt Guy's bedroom. <laughs> Where's Pink Shirt Guy? Or maybe we'll do Jones's bedroom. What do you think his bedroom looks like? Now, where did all that shiny new Plano come from? Oh, that shiny new piano. Um, that came from HZY. HZY... Uh, Let's do Jones's bedroom upstairs. Let's see what kind of bedroom this guy lives in. Let's give Jones his own bedroom. 
right here. All right, y'all, so we got to think about Jones and what his aesthetic would be. All right, what kind of rug would he like? Do you think he would just have a crappy rug or do you think he would have something nice? Soul Survivor made that from two typewriters and some fiberglass. <laughs> I think Jones might have something like this. What do you think? Blue one or this red one? All right, y'all contemplate rugs. I'm going to grab another soda. I brought back two now I won't have to get up again okay I think he would have a rug definitely blue um, all right so we're gonna go with the blue one um, would he have the blue bed to match um, I think he's gonna have a lot of weapons on his walls what do y'all think yes to the weapons beds does he have the matching blue bed or is that too matchy matchy and where do we want the bed to be that gives us this whole other area of the room to also decorate. I will annex Toronto only using carnivores penguins. Josiah, I don't know what you're smoking, but I think you got it from the slog. <laughs> I, I have no clue. All right, he'd have the blue rug, and I think he's gonna have weapons. Um, I think he's a guy who's been through some stuff. You think he's fought some synths? What kind of stuff needs to be in his room? I'm gonna need some ideas. Uh, let's give him a side table. Um, should he have the tool chest as a side table? Or is that not fancy enough? I like things to be wasteland chic. Oh, you're trying to say carnivorous. That is not how you spell carnivorous, my friend. It's a totally normal th thought process. He's not going to have a toilet in his room. Um, let's give him a chest of drawers. Uh, let's see. Is there any chest of drawers in do-it-yourself? I think it's mostly just shelves. Hence the name, do it yourself. Um, I can't spell. Say that one thing needs to be in this room. He's hardened, but he's also secretly a huge Grognak fan. <laughs> sure. Typewriter for his memoir, a desk with a plant. We could do that. I just feel like there needs to be a dresser here. Or do we do one that looks like that? Or do we do a super clean one? I don't really like the super clean ones. I'm digging this one the most. As his chest of drawers. Drawers. Jones would for sure be writing. All right, let's get the dude writing. Let's get him some desks. Give him a decent sized desk. 
Jones has got some memoirs to write. Is the desk too nice? Nah, it can't be too clean. Nah, we don't want it to be too clean. I agree. Let's get... Oh, good. We do have a light put up. I was going to say, let's put up a light. Actually, you know what? The drawers could be right next to the bed. We can get rid of the box. That could be like his nightstand, I guess. I kind of want to move these walls out of the way. Uh, where am I going to find a typewriter? Um, should I go with one of these other like weird looking desks? I kind of like the desk that's there, actually. I think I'm going to stick with that. Go to creative clutter and get some clutter for the desk. All right, he's got a place to type up his memoirs. What other stuff should we put on his desk? Tiny little safe. <laughs> Tiny little safe with some pre-war cash and some gold bars. I'll put this safe somewhere. Why not? We might use it later. It's kind of cute. I think we need some alcohol. Would he have a phone? Probably not. A little landing tray for his stuff. Sure, we'll put that right there. Stack of folders. Maybe he's working on multiple memoirs. That's how he's organizing his thoughts. Why not? It's that thing. Josiah, no clue what you're talking about. Legit, zero clue. I kind of want to put a gun on that table. You know what? We need to go buy some weapons. Um, Because I don't think I have any... guns that I want to just lay around. Um, you know what? I think, though, in OC... Not OC Decorator. In um, Static Object Decorator. I think there's a 10 millimeter. Yeah. Put a 10 millimeter on his desk. I just... For some reason, I'm getting the feeling he'd have a lot of guns hanging around. <laughs> Um, pictures for the wall, interesting stuff, boring stuff. You think he's secretly, we really want to go with the grognak thing? Secretly a huge grognak fan? Alright, I'm just gonna keep decorating until people start throwing out some ideas because I'm kind of at a loss for where to go with him, but we can handle that. I've been at a loss many times before. Nice little modest chair. We don't need the vault chair, even though it's the vault desk. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll put a radio up there too. Maybe we'll have a happy little radio just right over here. How am I collecting rads when I'm inside? For real, yo.
I feel like he's the kind of guy to do the thing. I guess I'll put a plant in the corner. I don't really have any other ideas. Yeah, trash can. Sure, why not? Yeah, let's give Jones a life. Let's make him live. Let's make him really live in this room. I do like the little landing tray, though. <laughs> Give him a Mr. Pebbles poster. <laughs> Maybe he's obsessed with the new cola chick. The Vim poster is not the end of the world. Alright, we got 10 people. Y'all have to have ideas on what goes in this room. The Fightin' Furies. Last stand at Fort McGee. Mounted Deathclaw. I think that death claw is just a little bit too big. There we go. Shrunk down mountain death claw. I could shrink it down a little more and put it above the door. I always like the death claws above the door. Okay, maybe not. We'll just leave it where it was. You cannot comprehend your ideas. I sure can. Actually, probably not, because I have no clue what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> uh, clocks. Let me give homie a clock. Not that clock. That clock's too big. So is that clock. All right, we're not giving him a clock. Cafe posters, banners, nah. Any other posters that he might have? There's the Grognak poster. <laughs> we could potentially put this here. I would chime in, but I'm afraid to get spanked or put in timeout. <laughs> A stash of Grognak me memorabilia under his bed. Please chime in, Hawk. I need I need some input. Nuka World, lights, floor coverings we already got. The only thing I'm thinking is guns. It's the only thing that's coming to my mind for him. He will not be getting a grilled cheese. Mm, let's put a lamp on this.
I am a fan of this yellow lamp. I can't right now. I'm making a video of how to do the wire glitch. <laughs> I, I won't watch it. I'm perfectly happy without the wire glitch. I think my wires came out just fine. Uh, decorations. Let's check out what's in some mods. Some more clutter. Some bedroom clutter. Give him an alarm clock. A little book next to his bed. Alright, so we got his chest of drawers and his side table. Um, put a suitcase under the bed. I can do that. I do that in almost all my playthroughs, so... Or almost all my decorating, so why not? Since I always put a suitcase under the bed. What do you say? Give him a footlocker too? I feel like putting a safe somewhere. We can put this at the foot of the bed, because I always do that. I don't usually put rocks in the room. <laughs> footlocker at foot of the bed, wall shelves with stuff. I know! I would personally put the lamp towards the bed so it looks like a reading lamp. Thank you, Nushagra. Nushgra? Nushgra. We can move that over, absolutely. So he's got his reading lamp. The lamp is a little in the way to turn off the alarm clock. You know what, I think we'll, let's put the lamp in the center. Cause then he's got his like, Oh, come on. You didn't have to take everything with you. That way he's got his reading stuff too. Alright, if that lamp takes everything with it again when I go to move it back, I'm going to be pissed. Alright, good. Alright, there. It's moved over a little bit. I think that's better. What level am I at? Hi, Mo. Um, I am at level 92 or 97, one of those. Somewhere in the 90, between like 92 and 97. I can probably check. How do I check? Um, but I, if I had to guess, I, oh, it's really hard for me to remember if it's 92 or 97, but it's one of those. Um, yeah, sure. We could do some shelves with stuff. I just want this stuff to make sense, you know? Uh, my pit boy. Uh, my pit boy, I don't see a level anywhere. Uh, status. Level 92. I knew it was one of those. I was like, it's either 92 or 97. 92. Um, do, do, do. What do I want to put on those shelves? Let's give him some armor. Um, give him 
some bathroom stuff that he takes with himself to the bathroom. Um, some stim packs, why not? Some right away. I definitely want to go to the weapons and ammo. So you know what? Let me move this sucker up to the top. He's got his guns. Got his stim pack. Um, what else? I never even reached 50 in 4, but I plan to big replay soon where I build up every settlement and everything, and then it'll probably happen. Yeah, it does help when you build, definitely. Um, when I've been building lately, though, on god mode, it definitely hasn't been helping me level up because god mode doesn't increase your leveling. All right, he's got shelves of stuff. I feel like his room's still not done because he's got this whole section here. It's too bad I can't fit a bench press there. Furniture? Should I throw a chair there? Nah, he's already got a chair in his room. I could put a locker. You need some gun racks. All right, that that idea I could get behind because that's the idea I had in the beginning. So let's put some gun racks in. And then we're going to go over to Diamond City and we're going to get some. Uh, we're going to get some guns that I could throw on the wall. God, just go on the wall. Always so difficult. Dude, didn't I just turn snapping off? Object snap is off. Why is it snapping to that? You do not snap. Snapping's off. No, bro, just no. Alright, we can put snapping back on. Alright. Let's head over to Diamond City, because I feel like getting out of here for a hot minute. All right, slog, Diamond City, buy him some guns. Uh, hi. Don't go inside, don't go inside, god damn it. I always end up here at night. There we go, buddy. If you're looking to keep your What's up, bro? Let me buy some stuff from you. I've got a few minutes to browse. Everything ha All right, what guns do we want him to have? Weapons, boxing glove, no. Advanced 44, sure. Glow-sided pipe revolver, heavy sledgehammer. Scattered, improved scattered laser rifle. Uh, we can see if we could put a machete on that wall. Boosted fiery plasma thrower. We cannot fit a missile launcher, but you know what? Maybe we will put the missile launcher somewhere. All right, I think I got enough guns. I don't even remember what I bought, so y'all are gonna have to remind me when we get back. But 
This log. <laughs> He's probably thinking, damn, that night just flew by. <laughs> he didn't even get any sleep. <laughs> Man got no sleep. So how's everyone Saturday? How y'all doing out there in uh, YouTube land? While we wait for the never ending loading screen. The loading screen of doom. And it's still loading. All right, thank you. And there's a Brahmin trying to get in the house. F off, buddy. You ain't coming in. Boom. See ya. All right, what did I buy? I bought this. Uh, I got two of these, so we might as well put two of them up there. Dude, he's got like two of the same gun. Does that look dumb? And I bought a bunch of laser rifles. Improved scatters, maximize laser rifle. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna put another pistol. I probably didn't buy it. Oh no, I wanted to try to put the machete on the wall. Let's see what happens. I don't think it's gonna let me put the machete. Nope, you cannot store that here. Can I store it up here? Oh, I can oh, store the machete up there. Nice. The hell? Don't mess up my settlement. Don't mess up my settlement. Y'all get out of here. Yeah, I'm not getting involved in that. I don't have my power armor on. <laughs> Screw that. It's 1.30 p.m. here, and I'm drinking coffee. Nice. Nah, he just likes to dual wield. It's 1.30 a.m. for me right now, and I'm eating cereal. <laughs> All right. Uh, another one of the same pistol, I guess. Um, what else do I got? Muzzled rapid 10 millimeter pistol. There we go. All right. At least now he's got his guns on his wall. It's starting to look like a room. I think we're gonna put the missile launcher in here. What do y'all think? I think I have to move all this stuff over because that's not up against the wall and I wish I had noticed earlier. Should have paid more attention before I started decorating it. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's pretty good now. Any belts uh, have complete OCD when they're decorating? No, just me. Some coffee sounds really good right now, but I'm drinking my Coke Zero instead. Alright, let's put the missile launcher down. Gosh, this room is so tiny. There's no room to move. And I guess that'll be it for his room. The walls seem kind of bare, though. Guessing New Zealand stands for New Zealand. Yes. For my slot build, such as it is, I have a whole bunch of mini guns pointing down that road. I guess Iron Rose. Just for such occasions, yeah. Missile launcher. Perfect. 
He seems like the guy that would have a missile launcher. Alright, I'm pretty okay with this room, to be honest. This one wall looks a little bare, but that's about it. If it's not properly straight, what's even the point, I always think. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Let's throw a random picture of Boston up here. Oh, he might have that picture up. That one's not the end of the world. Kind of cool looking. Alright, I think we finished Jones's room. Let's assign him to this bed if we can find him. Jones, where you at, bro? Is that Jones? No, it's Wiseman. Well, I don't think we're gonna find Jones anywhere. Alright, moving on. I've eaten burnt pasta and now I'm gonna die for it. <laughs> no DIEing around here. Alright, I think we will um, possibly work on one more room and then that will be it for the slog this evening. And then I may or may not go back to playing Las Vegas. Not Las Vegas, New Vegas. Um, this will be Wiseman's room, I guess. You know what? I think I might want to decorate one of the bigger rooms, but just because I have more space. I really hate these rooms where it's so hard to maneuver in. There's a weird hole in that wall. I don't like that. Alright, that's better. Alright, one more bedroom, then I'll call it for the stream. We need another, I guess, pseudo manly rug. I think I'll do the black and red one this time since I did the black and blue one before. Or is that green and red? I can't even tell what color that is. We'll decorate this one a little differently. I think I'll put the bed right in the middle. Green bed, red bed, what color do I do? No, green doesn't match. Red matches a little bit. I like almost never put the bed right in the middle. Uh, let's go with a warehouse container on one side. And then we'll put an actual nightstand on the other side. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to put some beers on that guy's desk. beer on this one too. Beer for everyone.
So, Dorf, what'd you have for lunch? Was it any good? Uh, let's put a picture above this bed. Let's put something that matches this red one. Let's go with one of the uh, weird-looking abstract ones. What do we think? Is that too much red? Or does it work? I think it kind of works. Yeah, I'm leaving it. I'm going with it. It works. Um, let's put on the side table. Oh, where are my alarm clocks? Hey, Dwarf, where are regular alarm clocks? I always forget. The only alarm clocks I can remember are under V's decorative. Or V's stylish. I made a chicken salad sandwich and it was pretty nice, even if I do say so myself. That sounds delicious. I haven't decided what I'm going to have for dinner yet. I might order chilies. I'm thinking about ordering some chilies. Should I put the bird in this room? <laughs> Just give them a random bird. You know what? I don't see any reason why not. I'm gonna give it a slight possibility that they have a random bird. I have yet to use the bird. There are a couple of alarm clocks in creative and bedroom clutter. Um, yes, I didn't. I was looking for the electronic alarm clock versus that one, Dorf. But thank you. You're right. There are. And then I suppose this is his armoire, exquisite armoire. The only thing is, I don't think that you could put stuff in it. I don't think it's compatible with anything, so I might need to take it out. My planet needs me. Goodbye. Goodbye, Josiah. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out. Good times. Let's get rid of that armoire for now and see what else I want to do with this room. Um, I like the alarm clock. I like the bird. Mm, maybe this person has a bookshelf. Gotta have some boxes under the bed because that's just how they roll. You know what? I am gonna use this pool table for upstairs. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this upstairs right now. Found Jones. Jones, come here. I want to assign you to your bed. This will definitely get used in someone's room. I don't think this guy's room, but it'll get used in someone's, so I'm going to put it down there for now. Umbrella stand with a baseball bat. Let's put this downstairs by the door. box full of stuff. 
Let's see if there's anything else I want to use in here. We can give this person a guitar. So, to the 10 people watching, what do y'all think about this room so far? What do you think it needs? I think it needs the guitar moved over here, to be honest. I think we need more books. Definitely need some clothing. And since most of these are dudes living here, it's gonna have dudes clothing. Power armor helmets? Yay or nay? Nah. I could stick with those helmets. Let's get some guns. workbench of some kind maybe needs nuka-cola stuff all right we could put some nuka-cola stuff i'm down with that we could put a whole damn nuka-cola flag up here um what kind of workbench you think Endorf? you thinking to put one in the room like an actual crafting workbench Give him a chemistry station. <laughs> It'd look a little weird there, I think. Weapons workbench? I feel like this would make more sense someplace else. I don't know, they're a little bit big. Should I shrink it down? Let's see what happens if I shrink it. I mean, that could go there. It's a little bit low down, though. Do you think it's too low now that I shrunk it? Considering he has books, he for sure needs a reading lamp. We can give this guy a reading lamp. Excellent observation. Here's his little reading lamp. Does this workbench look weird shrunk down, or should I just leave it? I'm gonna put a Nuka-Cola flag on that wall, I think. It works shrunk down. It doesn't look too weird. have two Nuka-Cola posters. It matches the red theme. Let's see what kind of feel we get when we walk into this room. Well, that wall's really bare now, so we could probably put something on that wall. Digging the bird. Definitely could do with some more decoration on the walls. Absolutely. Possibly Nuka-Cola flag. If he had a chair in front of the workbench or something, it would make sense for it to be so low. Um, yeah, we could probably put something for him to sit on. Oh, 
That chair looks a little weird there. I think this folding chair might look better. Decorations, Nuka World, Nuka Town. Do you think he likes Nuka Cola that much that he's got another picture of this chick? Where'd the flags go? Probably under flags. You know where the Nuka Cola flags are? They're under flags. You hear that, y'all? A Nuka flag would be a great touch opposite those posters. Yes, I wholeheartedly agree. Um, what do we think about that one? All right, so we walk into this room. We got our armor bench. We've got all their personal stuff. I think this room's good. I think we got our two rooms. I think that might be it for me streaming for a little while. Um, so yeah, the rooms are starting to get decorated. The mansion is coming together. This will be Jones's room. And then the other will be Wiseman's room. Why he's got a pet bird, who knows, who cares? And I think that's going to be all for the stream for today. I appreciate everybody for coming by and watching. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button. It would make me so incredibly happy. Um, and I will do a quick tour of the slog real quick before I, um, before I hop off. All right, so... We've already seen the outside. There's the entrance. We've got a little living room going on. I'm going to work on the kitchen probably next time. I put this little like breakfast nook. I thought that was a cute idea. Um, so we've got the breakfast nook. I have to decorate still these. is gonna. This is gonna be like their pantry-ish little place. Um, so that's the kitchen. I put a little more decorations on the counter, um, but the kitchen I think is coming along quite nicely and almost finished. And then we've got our little bar here, which all my stuff in the bar just disappeared. I had to redo the whole thing. Um, so we got our little bar. Uh, laundry room, come on in. It's a pretty messy laundry room, but there are a lot of people living here. And there's only one washer and dryer, so. Um, and plus, their clothes get dirty. They're out working those uh, weed fields. Um, we've got our bathroom finished. Bathroom. So I think a bathroom in two rooms plus a Slocum's Joe getting done today, I think it's pretty decent. Um, I really like, this is probably my favorite area of the whole place, is the little area with the rocking chairs and the lights and all the plants. I think it looks very soothing and relaxing. Um, I still want to come up with a better way to do this hot tub. Um, I will probably try to work on that. That'll be maybe a tomorrow project. Um, but for now, that's their hot tub. And we did a Slocum's Joe today, which, oh, Slocum's Joe needs some stairs. Well, I'll put in the stairs after. I'll finish the tour. Um, Slocum's Joe. We got our donut fryer, all of our donuts. And then next door, we've got Twins Consignment Shop, where you can come and get all of your stuff on consignment, um, especially if you need that Abraxo or that Vim, <laughs> or a whole shitload of teddy bears. <laughs> um, so there's our consignment shop, and a bird. I forgot there was a bird on consignment as well. Um, this is Upper's Drug Den, uh, so this is where they are making and selling chems. Um, we've got your all of your chems here for sale. We've got a place for you to sit and smoke your cigars if you want to come hang out. Um, we've got some cigars in this display case here that are for sale. Your cigarettes. And then back here I put some lighters and then some teeny tiny little weed plants and some pipes. And then next door to that is Slog's Liquor Store, which I assume everyone has seen many times by now, so you're probably getting sick of seeing the liquor store. So Slog's Liquors, 
with our little wine tasting area, which I have yet to find some cheese to put there. But when I find some cheese, it will go there. Um, and then next to that, we have our brewery where they are distilling all of the wine. So this is where all the Tarberry wine comes from. And then over here, we've got the weed garden. And that's about it for the slog so far. So I will just keep working on it and decorating it and we'll work on it more tomorrow and see how it goes. Um, yeah, so that's what we got so far. So once again, thank you everybody for tuning in. Those stained glass lights look amazing in the hands of the wall statue of the twins. I've done a similar kind of thing with candles, but they aren't as effective as that. Awesome. Idea for next time for the hot tub. Maybe put it at some elevated wood thing so it's a bit more separated from the general floor. Thank you, Nushka. I will try that. Thank you. All right, y'all. Well, it's been an awesome time. Um, thank you for hanging out and uh, helping me decorate in the slog. And um, I'm going to sign off for now. So everybody have a good one. Hit the like button, please, and the subscribe button. Please, 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 pretty please. Okay, everybody have a good night. Thank you so much. Enjoy your Saturday. And Dwarf, enjoy your Sunday. <laughs>